Hi guys, good morning. So today we're going to talk about spring and clothes. What kind of clothing am I wearing? This is a button-up short sleeve shirt. This is a shirt. What kind of shirt are you wearing? Or maybe you're wearing a dress. Or maybe you're wearing a scarf. Probably not, because scarves are to be worn outside in the cold and I don't think you're outside are you okay so let's first look at what we have for our PowerPoint oh first we actually have some words to learn so these are clothing items we're going to learn the words uh, that belong to these pictures okay so first we have here a man the man is wearing a suit can you guys say that suit Backward that suit suit so this guy is wearing a suit we're gonna go through these kinda quickly because some of you already know them very well okay so we have suit t-shirt opacueta t-shirt jumper or in America we say sweater jumper and then here we have a tie does your daddy wear a tie and your mommy no, mommies mostly don't wear ties. I'm going to drink some coffee real quick. Mmm. Do you guys have coffee? Yeah? Do you need coffee to wake up? Maybe you can get some from your mom and dad. Mom and dad, Ben said I need coffee. Just kidding. Don't get coffee. Coffee's not for kids. Okay. So we have tie, and we have trousers, trousers, and they have a pants trousers jeans here's some jeans a shirt a shirt a cardigan whoops whoa sorry a dress this is a dress a beautiful dress are you guys still repeating opacueta keep repeating shorts here are shorts I'm wearing shorts today here's a skirt this is a skirt coat a coat keep repeating okay I want to be able to hear you can you guys say it a coat a big jacket a big big jacket is a coat it's for the winter when it's snowing 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 we need a coat trainers here's trainers to run outside in flip-flops flip-flops and they say they're called flip-flops because they flip-flop 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 when you walk flip-flop trainers plimsolls can you guys say plimsolls here are plimsolls shoes these can be any types of shoes these are sneakers or shoes shoes socks can you guys say that socks high heels high heels knickers these are knickers or underpants. Opacueta. Underpants or underwear. Underwear. How about that? In America, we mainly say underwear. And in Britain, in the UK, they say knickers. Uh, but you can say underwear as well. So these are underwear. High heels. Your mommy wears high heels. Socks. Do you have socks on? I don't have socks on. A vest. Or tank top. This is a tank top. Opacueta. Tank top. Tights. These are tights. These are underpants. Underpants. Are underwear. These are boxer shorts. Boxer shorts. Boxer shorts. Pajamas. Which is very similar to check, isn't it? Pajama cool, I think you guys say. Uh, pajamas. Pajamas. Where I'm from in Kansas, we say pajamas. Isn't that funny? Pajamas. Okay, next. Underwear. Underwear. These are a collection of underwear. A blouse. This is like a button shirt uh, or some kind of top that uh, that women wear or girls wear. This is a blouse. We'll talk about the blouse for girls. Football shirt or jersey. This is a football shirt or jersey. A raincoat. A raincoat keeps you dry. 
when you're outside and it's raining, 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 you wear a raincoat. Here's a sun hat. A sun hat. I'm going to close the window real quick, okay? Okay, so we have a sun hat, and then we have a wooly hat. And in the winter, when it's super, super cold, we wear wooly hats, don't we? Or beanies. In America, we say beanies. So here's a sun hat and a wooly hat. Wooly hat. Are you guys still repeating? So, opakoeta to. Okay. Wooly hat jacket a jacket I wear a jacket when it's cold and a cap and the last four gloves goggles scarf and glasses one more time gloves goggles scarf and glasses from the top we're going to say it quickly okay just repeat after me suit t-shirt Opakwata. Suit, t-shirt, jumper, tie, trousers, jeans, shirt, cardigan, dress, shorts, skirt, coat, trainers, flip-flops, plimsolls, shoes, socks, high heels, knickers, vest, Nebo tank top, tank top, tights, underpants, boxer shorts, pajamas, underwear, blouse, football shirt, nebo jersey, raincoat, raincoat, sun hat, wooly hat, jacket, cap, Gloves, goggles, scarf, and glasses. Very, very good. I'm proud of you guys. You guys are doing super, super good. Now, I have a game we're going to play to help us learn the names of the clothes and to help us identify the clothes, okay? Clothes shadow matching. Shadows and lights. When lights shine on an object, it creates a silhouette, a silhouette. This is called a shadow. Now see if you can guess what could be making all these shadows. Can you guys say shadow, shadow, opakwata, shadow? Okay. What could this be? What do you guys think this is? Is it a tiger? No. You guys know this is a piece of clothing. So what piece of clothing is that? I think you guys know because you are very smart. It is a... It is pants. It's not pants. Is it trousers? No, it's not trousers. What is that? It's a shirt. Is it a shirt? It's a t-shirt. It's a t-shirt. Okay, what do we have next? What is that? Can you guys tell what that is? I think it is sneakers or shoes. You may have said shoes, but these types of shoes are called sneakers. Sneakers. It's a funny word, isn't it? Sneakers. Okay, next. What could this be? I think you guys all know, but do you remember the name? What is this called? Cap. Cap. It's a cap. A cap. A cap. Or in America, we actually say cap. We say cap, but it's also a baseball hat. So we say baseball hat or cap. Baseball cap. Let's say baseball cap. So, baseball cap. And what could this one be? A hat. This is a wooly hat, a wooly hat, a wooly hat. And you guys know this one. 
It's a dress, right? A dress, is this a dress? It's not a dress, what is that thing? It's pants or trousers. Pants, a pair of pants. Can you guys say that? Pants or trousers? What could it be? What could this be? Is it a, is it glasses? Nope. It's something girls wear? Yeah. So what do you guys think it is? It's a skirt. A skirt. A skirt, a skirt, a skirt. And this thing, what do you guys think? Is it a jacket or a sweater or a jumper? It's a sweater. A sweater. Nebo? Jumper or a jumper. A sweater or a jumper. A sweater or a jumper. You wear this not in the springtime or in the summer. Typically, you don't wear it in the springtime. You wear it in the winter or autumn. And these are these look like nice, warm socks. Socks. These are socks. Socks, socks, socks. The end. Okay, so now I have a very cool story. Do you guys want to hear a story? A cool Ajusti Pohatka? This is called Siren's Seasons. Siren's Seasons. So you remember the seasons. We have summer. Can you guys say that? Summer. What's this one? Autumn. What's this? Winter. Winter. And our season now, which is spring. Spring. You remember, spring is here, spring is here. How do you think we know there must be a butterfly? That is how I know. Or bee. Do you see the bees in the air? Okay. Now let's read this story. Here we go. Nain had a big cupboard full of Siren's clothes. This is a cupboard. This is a cupboard with clothes. These boxes have clothes in them. Okay, for each season. Does your mom or dad have a cupboard with clothes in the boxes? for the different seasons. So maybe your snowy clothes in one box and your summer clothes in another box. Maybe. Siren said, this is Siren, and Siren said, will it snow soon? Shall we take out my snow boots? And Nain said, it doesn't usually snow in spring. So they brought out their snow, their spring clothes and they put them in the drawers. They put them in the drawers. Siren put the spring clothes into her drawers, leaving her snow boots in the cupboard. She super wants her snow boots though. Can you see what season Siren loves? What season is that? Do you see the snowman? So she loves winter and she wants winter. Okay. Spring brought lots of different weather. When it was cloudy, Siren lay on the dewy grass, spotting the shapes in the sky. Oh, she's dreaming of, what is she dreaming of? What does she want more than anything? She wants winter so she can have snow and she can build a snowman, a snowman. Do you see the airplane? So she's dreaming of making a snowman. When there was a cool breeze, Siren could smell all the beautiful flowers that had started to bloom. There's the beautiful flowers. And she's playing in mud, and she's making a snowman. She super wants the snowman. So in the springtime, she's still making a snowman. But it's not the same. As the weather became warmer, Nain opened the cupboard again. So a new season is coming. Siren asked, will it snow soon? Shall we take out my snow boots? It doesn't usually snow in the summer, said Nain. So they're dressed for winter? Or are they dressed for spring or summer? Siren put the summer clothes into her drawers, leaving her snow boots in the cupboard. 
Summer brought lots of different weather. When it was sunny, Siren went to the beach. So where are they? They're at the beach. Is she trying to build a snowman again with sand? I think so. You see the crab? So this is the summer. In the summer, your mommies and daddies and you go on holiday, don't you? Sometimes to Croatia or sometimes to Greece or to Dubai or something cool like that. And sometimes to America. Okay. When lightning and thunder filled the sky, Siren watched from her room. You see the lightning and thunder? So she's hanging out in her bedroom watching the lightning storm. And she built a snowman with her pillows. She loves the snow, doesn't she? She really wants the winter. As the days grew colder, Nain opened the cupboard to fetch some warmer clothes. Will it snow soon? Siren asked again. Shall we take out my snow boots? She super wants her snow boots. It doesn't usually snow in autumn, said Nain. So it is autumn. It's not winter. So no snow boots, only a scarf and some warm sweaters and warm socks and wooly hats and warm jackets. Siren put the autumn clothes into her drawers, leaving her snow boots in the cupboard. Autumn brought lots of different weather. When it rained, Siren splashed in the puddles in her wellies. You see, she sees a snowman. She made a snowman in the puddles, too. Uh-oh. Did you guys see that? A duck took the stick from the snowman's arm. Or took the stick that was the snowman's arm. Okay. When it was super windy... Siren watched the colorful leaves swirling around. As the nights became longer, Nain opened the cupboard again. Will it snow soon? Siren asked. Shall we take out my snow boots? Well, it is winter. Sorry, I'm gonna close the door because the police are outside, aren't they? They're kind of loud. Well, it is winter, said Nain. It could snow any day now. So it's winter! And Nain let Siren have her snow boots and getting out the winter clothes. Siren's snow girl. So she super wants to make a snowman or snow girl. Siren grinned as she put her snow boots near the door. Winter brought lots of different weather, but one day it snowed! It's finally snowed. There's snow everywhere. There's so much snow. And she can finally play with her friend, and they can build a snowman together. Finally, Siren had everything she needed to build the perfect snow girl. So she didn't make a snowman, did she? She made a snow girl. That's fun. There's her snow girl. She looks like her, doesn't she? That's so fun, taking pictures of her and her mom or grandma, Nane. The end. Do you guys see her snowman or snow girl in the spring and snow girl in the summer and snow girl in the autumn and snow girl in the winter? The end. Okay, so I have another challenge for us. Siren Seasons. Dress Siren for the weather. So now we're going to dress Siren for the proper weather. Here is Siren. Okay. Which weather is Siren ready for? Which weather is she dressed? Opakwete. Dressed. Is she dressed for the sun, the rain, nebo, the snow? What do you think? I'm going to say sun. Sun is correct. Spravnye. So she is dressed for the sun, for the sun. Okay, which weather is Siren ready for? The sun, the rain, or the snow? What is she dressed for? Sun, rain, or snow? If you're thinking snow, it's correct.
Snow. She's dressed for the snow. Okay. And what about now? What is she dressed for? Sun, rain, or snow? Just one moment. Okay. Sun, rain, or snow? Rain. She's dressed for rain. That's correct. Okay. So next, what do you think we have? Choose the right item for the weather. What is she what does she need? Does she need shorts when it's raining outside and storming? There's so there's a big big storm and she needs one of these things. Does she need flip-flops? No. Does she need an umbrella? Yes, she does. She needs an umbrella. Umbrella. And what do you guys think she needs now? Does she need cardigan or snow boots or swimsuit? It looks like spring to me. It's spring. So I'm going to say she needs a cardigan? A cardigan. Yeah. Sometimes it can get cold in the spring, doesn't it? It gets a little bit cold in the springtime. So you need a cardigan or a sweater. Now she's on the beach in the summer. She doesn't need earmuffs and she doesn't need a woolly hat. So what do you think she needs in the summer? A sun hat for her head. That's funny, isn't it? How it fits on her head. So she needs a sun hat. Now let's choose the right item for this weather. This looks like autumn to me. So what do you think she needs in autumn? She looks like she's wearing uh, wellies in case it rains. She doesn't need sunglasses. It's often very cloudy in the autumn. Yellow jacket, a rain jacket maybe, or a baseball cap? No. No. Oh, it didn't work. Yeah, the yellow jacket is what she needs. She needs the yellow jacket. All right, choose the right item for the weather. In the summer, what does she need? Does she need jeans, a scarf, or sunglasses? Let's say sunglasses. Sunglasses! She looks cool, doesn't she? In the summer, you need sunglasses. All right, and in the winter, when it's super snowy, does she need flip-flops? Nope, no flip-flops and no shorts. She needs earmuffs, earmuffs. Do you guys say earmuffs? the end super good job guys i'm proud of you all right so i'm going to show you uh what worksheets you need to do uh, that's all we have for today so i'm just going to show you the worksheets really quick so this is a maze you guys can help this woman find her cat okay you got to go through the maze go through the maze which way to go all the way to the cat and then next we have this these worksheets here so I want you to practice your handwriting. You need a pencil, a pencil, okay, potrebuješ tušky, tuška, and you need to trace down the flowers, okay, trace down, trace down. Go slow though, go slow. And you gotta go zunk, 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 okay, and then use your pencil to trace here as well, and so on, okay. Go slow though. Then here, I want you to trace on the inside, okay? On the inside of the S. You guys should know what to do here. You trace like this, okay? You trace with your pencil. You trace here on the inside, okay? You guys can do all of those. Okay, and I think that's it. Let me see here. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. All right. Now, the last one is a fun one. All you guys have to do is spot the 10 differences between the, these two pictures. You find 10 things, 10 things, okay? What's different in this picture than this picture, okay? Can you guys do that? It's super easy. 
Okay, guys, thank you so much. That was really fun for me. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Have a very beautiful day. Bye, guys.